Sup, 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 all my fine feathered friends that are out there around the globe. I am uh, just welcome, <laughs> welcome to Big Chat Radio, everyone. Um, I am your host, Paranormal Rebel, and with me, as always, I have the Diva. Sup, baby, Woo! You know, it's all up tonight, Jason. Is it it is, it's out. Oh, yeah, it's out. Because we are both here. Woohoo! We are, yeah. we are. I haven't, yeah, it's been. It's been a pain in the ass for me to make it um, on Mondays lately. I ain't going to lie. And it has sucked because I miss everyone. <laughs> well, everyone misses you. And last night I was just going to, I just wanted to bitch slap you back and forth because I thought for sure you were going to be here with me. And I just missed you so damn much, you know. But no. That's, no. But, hey, hey, you know, hey, hey, baby. Hey, 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 I, baby. I cake? still, I still baby love cake? you. Baby yeah. cake. Um, yeah. Before we continue that statement, I just I just want you to know that I don't need to fuck up for you to have to bitch slap me. You can just bitch slap me anytime you want, honey. I you know. Just bring that yeah. shit over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring it I on. Want, and I just want to say that I want I want you to think about this while we're doing the show tonight. I just want you to know that it's true that I've ordered a new Catholic schoolgirl skirt just for you this week. Just for me. When are you post the message on here? It's true. Oh yeah, yep. it is. <laughs> when the hell is that going to make it on the on the fan page? God damn it! Oh, it's coming. I'm waiting for it to arrive in the mail, even as we speak. Oh damn yeah. I, mean, oh. <laughs> I, I think I might have just thrown two centimeters just now. <laughs> so take that. Take that, people. So oh, um. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> um. And we've got news tonight. I mean, you know, last night I really dropped the ball on that weird news. Um, Bill Brock doesn't know. I, I don't know. But we always do start off the show with some uh, weird news when we can find it. The weirder, the better. Uh, you know, we search uh, search the Internet high and low for the weirdest shit we can find about anything, really. Um, UFOs, strange creatures, ghost stories. Whatever we, you know, weird science, you know, anything we can find, and then we talk about it amongst ourselves, and we like to talk about it with the guest, and have you jump in there and say what you think about it as well. And um, last night I just couldn't find anything, and um, I was hoping Jason was going to find something, and he just ran so late for, you know, from work, he just he couldn't do it. So I was at a total loss. But um, it was all fucked up. I was, I yeah. was, but yeah. it's all. We're, we're gonna bounce back from that tonight. Yeah. And we were a little, we were a little off yesterday, but you're, we're gonna. You're more, see. you're more fucked up than a one-legged midget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know about that, but um, you know, I did tell everybody last night, and, and you weren't here, but I had a kick-ass time um, over the weekend at Wizard World at Comic Con over here in New Orleans. Great time. <laughs> met all kinds of people, took all kinds of pictures. It was good. Um, you know, so that was terrific. But I do have some great news tonight. I don't know if you had a chance to look at the stories, but, you know, briefly, if you'd like to briefly. come. I opened up one mic. How's that? Yeah. Do you want to take one of the stories tonight, or you want me to kick that off, or what do you think? You want me, you want me to kick off a new story tonight? Yeah, I totally do. Totally. All right. What do we have here? What do we have Get here? What one do I Get have open? Get into it. I got you some science. I got you weird creatures. Well, in in order of our special guest tonight uh, from uh, the Discovery Channel, you know, Destination America, Bill Brock, I found, you know, strange gray creatures is, and also is this the Loch Ness Monster? But um, I also got your computer knows you better than your mom, and iPhone separation gives you great anxiety. But also, uh, you know, Man finds souls of the damned in his McDonald's ice cream sundae. I mean, I got a little. For some odd reason, these news stories are not loading correctly on my on my computer. So, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Hey, I'm in a shitty ass hotel. What do you expect? I know. All right, I got one that I think is loading right now. Mm. I'm gonna have one in a minute. Give me a second. Randomly talk about your boobies for about a minute. We'll be all right. We'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> well, well, let's randomly talk about this shit. Did you hear this shit? Man randomly finds souls of the damned in his McDonald's ice cream sundae. I mean, 
kind of crap is this? This was an AOL Sunday. So I don't know. You guys might have seen this, but I couldn't resist the urge, you know, much like Jay when he's in the shower. But uh, you've heard of the stories about people finding Jesus in a piece of toast or a sweat stain. I mean, come on. They're selling this crap on eBay every day. But, you know, one poor guy found the opposite in his ice cream Sunday. And, of course, there is a video, and I will post it on the Ghost Chat Radio fan page on Facebook, like I always do. But this photo of Mickey D's soft serve ice cream was posted to Twitter. And clearly the owner got more than just a sweet treat <clears throat> off of the dollar menu. So Twitter uses Bonerman Inc. That was his uh, Twitter handle. Did you hear that, Jay? Bonerman Inc.? Was the, unfor- <laughs> was the unfortunate recipient of the bad omen and posted the photo along with the caption, hey, at McDonald's, I ordered a Sunday, but instead you gave me the souls of the dam. Did I have to pay extra for this shit? So What's anyway, up? yeah. So, I mean, this was just dated January 10th. This is current news, people. But, um, and I mean, this wasn't even off of my favorite news site, Huffington Post. So, I mean, this was an AOL thing. Not really sure what eating the souls of the dam might actually mean for a poor boner man's future, but, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Well, but he might, but... Any guy who calls himself boner man should not be taken seriously. In Hello? fact, I think he should be committed to some kind of psychiatric hospital where he can get the help <laughs> that is required by the state of whatever he lives in. <laughs> well, we're thinking he might want to hang out with Chef Jamarcus Brady because last year Brady managed to find God in a piece of eggplant when he was prepping for the lunch crowd at Gino's restaurant, you know. Um, he chefed right into the, you know, this chef, you know, he sliced right into the divine and actually found the letters God spelled out in his eggplant. So they should just hang out together. But, you know, what do you guys think? Like, have you ever actually found something in a piece of food like that? Have, have you, I mean, do you guys believe in signs? I don't know. I, I, I never get, I don't believe in that stuff. But I actually had a friend who saw signs everywhere. He saw hearts everywhere he went. And he was always sure that it was a sign. He actually lives out in New York, um, where all the crazy people live, Jay. <laughs> yeah, we're all fucked up. I'm going to be the first to buy it. He's out there in Brooklyn, but um, uh, my friend Rosie, but uh, he sees signs everywhere. He still does. But um, I mean, do you guys believe in signs? And and do you ever see things like this? Because none of this kind of thing ever happens to me. I, I do believe in signs only because I ran a stop sign once and got a ticket. So, well, that I could. So frankly, I have to believe in signs. What do you What do you think, Bill? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, you guys talking to me or what? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to get, like, an announcement or something. I was, like, trying to be all quiet over here. No, we don't like that. Never be quiet with us. Oh, in there. Geez. All right, all right. So signs. Uh, do I believe in signs? I don't know. I just think I went to investigate the Mothman. The Mothman is all about signs. He's supposed yeah. to be a demon that uh, is basically a sign of bad things to come. Um, yep. I just spent, you know, Three days in Point Pleasant, uh, really focused on trying to find out what the Mothman is. I awesome. actually spoke. To people, I actually spoke to people that were eyewitnesses. I actually uh, went to the Mothman Museum and talked to a couple of people that worked there, um, and really got their view of what they truly thought the Mothman was. And you know, I'm about to put out a video on my YouTube. Everyone can check it out and actually see uh, what we actually did, which was a whole lot of fun. Um, we really basically figured out it was a demon, you know. Uh, people think this Mothman is nothing more than a demon and something that is truly a sign giver, if you will. Uh, he comes and presents himself, and, you know, a tragic thing happens. And this Mothman has actually been spotted all over the world. Recently it's true. Recently in Europe. You know, mm-hmm. and, and this really could be a sign. This could be a, either a cryptid or a demon that is exactly what you're talking about, something who gives a sign. And we've seen think, signs throughout history, you know? Yeah. Bill do, you, Bill, do you think it could be a cryptid? Because I'm actually very familiar with the Mothman. I've I've kind of followed that over the years. And um, it's pretty freaky. That's some freaky shit. I'm very interested in that. You'll have to pro- you'll have to post that on our fan page. I know people will be really interested in seeing what you're doing with that. Hey, yeah, yeah, I, 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 
I got a question, Joe. Keep your legs closed for a minute. Um, now the boss man, the boss man, he, he's attracted to bridges, right? He's spotted a lot of times on bridges. Um, well, he's associated with the Silver Bridge, specifically in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Yeah. And on, yeah. in 1966, the Silver Bridge fell down uh, just after some people spotted the Mothman while hanging out in like a, you know, the TNT area, which was kind of like you know the makeout place or whatever. And so yeah. They fell down and you know, we all have one they of those. Silver Bridge fell, and so. Yeah, you know, it, that's the bridge it's associated with. But truly, the Mothman has been spotted around a lot of other things, not just bridges. Yeah. I, I, I just heard a lot about him hanging out around bridges. He likes bridges. I don't know. No, I'd like man, to find uh, the bridge that he's hanging on and burn it. I'd like to burn that yeah, bridge. Yeah, right, uh, I don't know. This thing is real, man. I mean, you know, these people are seeing something. Mm-hmm. And this something is probably a, either a demon or... Um, an alien, because there's a few people, and, and I went and I read the I read the articles. You know, they uh, yeah. felt that it was an alien. They associated a spot spotting of a UFO, you know, the UFO sighting with this Mothman. Now, yeah. at, at do, the end do you of the think day, that we don't know if any of this crap exists, guy? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't sure. know if the Bigfoot exists. We don't know if the Mothman yeah. exists. We don't know about any of this stuff. And so what we have to do is we have to look at all the evidence that we've collected over the years and try to yeah. find patterns. And once we find patterns, we can also like basically figure out what these things are, try to like basically it, interpret their next move and actually get them on video, capture them, something. And that's what my team is about to do. We are like yeah. really going to be the ones that, that prove these cryptids are either real or a bunch of crap. Do, do you think that uh, the Mothman could also be part alien in some form? I don't know. I wonder. Um, it's really, I wonder. It's a good question, it's actually. Really because if you look at the photos of what you see of him and you see these images of what he could be, it, it, he does have, appear to be like the basic alien type of features that, that you would find the UFOlogist guys bragging about. Yep. Absolutely, man. No doubt about it. These things are thought to have uh, very large eyes, large round head, uh, mm-hmm. smooth skin. And, you know, those are all things we hear about the greys. You know, these things are, are very closely associated with um, with aliens. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You know, another Sounds- really interesting thing that we found out about the TNT areas where this thing has been spotted is these things uh, had nuclear um, – I don't know what it was, but we know for a fact there is nuclear radiation around these TNT areas. Now, there's been theories that – these aliens try to use some type of nuclear power to run whatever mm-hmm. they run, you know? And if that's true, we have proof that they definitely were storing something nuclear in these um, these igloos. Um, and I, I have proof of that. And so okay. if, if what I think is true, um, this Mothman is either a demon or – an alien, and we're finding strange things around the TNT areas that really just don't make sense. So I don't know what all this means when you put it together, but those are the facts that I have, you know? Well, what kind of evidence do you have that, that leads you to believe that? Um, we have a, a witness of the area that was contracted to clean uh, the TNT area to make it to where they could use it for, like, hunting and fishing and all that kind of crap. And yeah. so this guy... Uh, Basically, they ran into nuclear uh, waste there, and they had to shut down the operation, and they were never allowed to go back. They had to literally shut it down, and they couldn't even haul the uh, the, the nuclear waste out of that area. Yeah. And and did you go there to try to pick up the silver radiation there? Yeah, I, I can prove it with a dosimeter. You know, and, uh, you know we're, we're actually going to come back and do a public Mothman hunt. And we're going to have that. We're going to actually use a dosimeter so people can really truly see that there is nuclear radiation still within those TNT areas. Now, the Mothman also has some kind of mystical powers and whatnot. He has the ability of um, putting people in trances and all kinds of weird shit, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I've heard that too. Um, And and if you really look at demonology, um, that's something that, demons tend to have the power to do. So, you know, we 
through the through the evidence and just witness reports, man, I really think that it's either a demon that these people are seeing 